Somnium, somnium, somnium. A word that's more than a person, place, or thing, yet still a noun. Somnium, it dwells in the confines of our minds. Somnium, the bedrock of the American ideal. S-O-M-N-I-U-M, somnium, is the Latin word for dream. The English Dictionary defines dream as a condition or achievement that is longed for. And today, I celebrate with you our graduation from a great university. George Washington University has a long-standing reputation for building the leaders of tomorrow. We've all been beneficiaries in this life-changing experience. We've been taught by professors not only versed in the theories of academia, but also practitioners in their fields of focus. And that quality has allowed us students to ask the real questions and get the real answers. We've taken part in countless community outreach programs and pursued interesting research projects. We traveled to various parts of the globe to attain a taste in the international landscape. And we consumed countless cups of Starbucks frappuccinos, lattes, and espressos. And today, all of our efforts have culminated in this eight and a half by 11 document that we call a degree. GW has taught us how to transform dreams into reality. It's a lesson that revolves around three core concepts. First, dream big. It wasn't that long ago that this was nothing but an aspiration. My GW experience began in the fall of 2009, a very interesting year to say the least. That time the country was reeling from one of the worst recessions in United States history. Record unemployment, financial crisis, economic instability. Companies that were pillars in the fabric of American commerce tanked. Consumer spending froze. Incomes dwindled. One could have said, who could afford to dream in such times like this? But we said, who can afford not to dream? In the midst of the smoke and the rubble caused by economic calamity, we, the class of 2011, continue to press toward an aspiration of higher education. Beware of letting the world, statistics, stereotypes, media, friends, and even family dictate your potential by putting chains on your ambition. Dream the impossible. Dream outside the box and dream big today and dream even bigger tomorrow. Secondly, you have to have faith and confidence in who you are. All of us deal with failure, trial, insecurities, mistakes. It's part of life. But one cannot appreciate success without embracing failure. Sometimes we feel small and insignificant. And when you find yourself in that train of thought, I want you to think about the story of David and Goliath. You know the story. A gargantuan man named Goliath taunted and persecuted a pupil, and nobody in the country had the the courage to stand up against him, all except for one small man named David, armed with nothing but a sling and the promise of faith. After the battle ensued, David stood victorious over Goliath. You're probably asking, what does that mean for me? Well, when Goliath pressure, a Goliath world, and Goliath trial mount up against you, I want you to remember your David-like identity, proof that big dreams and triumph can come in small packages. You are leaders of tomorrow, strong, competent, and unique. Dreamers like Albert Einstein, Martin Luther King, Alicia Jackson, Tony Bray, Cesar Chavez, Lung Lung, Robert Kennedy, Barack Obama, all have made unique contributions, but it's important to remember the common thread. They bled the same blood that you bleed. They breathe the same air that you breathe. They woke up each morning the same way you wake up each morning. If they can do great things, then you can too. Have faith and confidence in who you are. And lastly, the most important step is to take a step. Don't get paralyzed by fear. Take strides towards your goals today. Johann Wolfgang said it best when he said, what is not started today is not finished tomorrow. I'll say again, what is not started today is not finished tomorrow. Start, start, start. Time is not a promise. It's not a guarantee. It's a gift. We're all in a game in which we don't know the quarter, but we must strive for every point on every play. When you walk into the Duquesne the Duquesne building, 
here at GW, you'll find an inscription on the stairs. And it says, who says you have to step on someone to get to the top? As you take strides towards success and your aspirations, never forget to reach back and help those around you. No matter what the aspiration, you cannot do it alone. Take a step and make your mark. I'll close with the words of Robert Schuller. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. If you dream big, have faith and confidence in who you are, and take a step, you'll transform your dreams into reality. Congratulations, class of 2011. You did it. <laughs>